<laughs> do it. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm so excited to be back with another video this week. I actually have two videos that were meant to come out this week, but there was <laughs> two different problems that made that not possible, so we're here filming another one. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm really excited because whenever I film, it means I'm trying out either something really fun or I get to share something really exciting with you guys. Uh, and today is just like that because I've got Ava behind the camera, so you'll be seeing a lot of her today <laughs> once we finish <laughs> filming the intro. Yeah. Uh, but I'm holding here a neck rope, and there's a reason why I'm holding it. Well, it's actually an Atlanta neck rope. Um, but there's a reason I'm holding it, and it's because today I want to try neck rope with my horse for the very first time. So we're gonna see how that goes. I'm not sure if we're gonna actually be able to successfully do it and get there, but I'm confident enough in Chase that if I put a saddle on and I take the bridle off and I have a rope, I can have some sort of control. Obviously, we're gonna be testing that out first. So we're gonna be starting off the bridle and the neck rope, and we're gonna be doing a few steps to see if we can end the video on neck rope and how that kind of all goes. Um, so we're gonna go get him. We've had, I think everybody in the Netherlands has had 40 degree days. So this is a, the first day, um, does that make it so dramatic? <laughs> we've had two days of warm weather here in the Netherlands and everybody's died. Um, <laughs> but we finally have a day where it's cool enough to actually do something. Um, so we're gonna be trying out Necrom today for the very first time with Chase. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can hold it. So everybody say hello to Ava. She's also hello. here. She'll be joining us and helping me today because Ava's also the neck rope queen herself. Um, as you guys might know from her <laughs> several videos with millions of views, <laughs> she is amazing with neck rope and all these kind of things uh, that have to do with liberty. So I'm going to be definitely asking Ava lots of questions and she's going to be here helping. Yeah. But the first thing we have to do, I think Chase will be, is get this horse now. Let's walk yeah. and talk, because otherwise we're never gonna get there. Unless it's just a falling off, it's just not well, the moon. <laughs> Is it a full moon? <laughs> Hello. Um, okay, so here's been really hot. So Chase has been sweating non-stop. Well, all the horses have been just sweating non-stop for the past like might have three pee. days. So he might need a quick wash before um, we do anything, because I did see the state of him when he came out of the stable this morning, and it was not pretty. <laughs> so we might have to give him a really quick wash before yeah. we can do anything, and I think he'll like that as well. Even today it's hot. It's like it's what? Really hot. 30? It's it's because it's the wind, it's fine. But yeah, there's a bit of a breeze. Yesterday yeah. it was just dry, no breeze, nothing. <laughs> no, we stayed inside the whole day. Yeah. Practically. Oh no, that's not true actually. We kind of like did something. We were active still. Uh, we did stuff. But it's kinda of hard to do something when you're when it's 40. We I did mean, something we, actually very exciting. We walked from the kitchen to the like <laughs> to the freezer to get ice cream and then we walk back. <laughs> back and forth. I consider that movement. <laughs> <laughs> that's sexy. Oh I need a halter. Yeah. <laughs> Bear's trying to hang on. Bear's like, take me with you. <laughs> Sign of the gods, if you will. But this is uh, how everything is looking here at home. The mower broke, so I was only able to cut <laughs> half the grass, which is, if you know me, that's the just, nightmare. that's the worst OCD thing that can ever happen. Um, but these are the ponies, they're all doing well. So Antares and Macho are over here. And then we have the other three gang over there. And then we have these two fields have been seeded and stuff. So there's lots of grass. This is something we were not going to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but Chase is looking really good and Chase has been doing really well lately uh, He did have like a few days of like slight lameness But I don't I think it was like an abscess that was coming on and it's now passed and it's all good again um, But he's lost his winter coat yeah. almost all of it, um, you know, <laughs> it's nearly August, but it's fine um, And he's doing much better. So I'm excited to do something with him today. It's gonna be fun I know a lot of you guys have also been missing him. So it's nice to hey. see him back on the channel Jason. Here he is. He knows he knows he's uh, he's ready. Yeah, we have always kind of a lot of flies here in the summer, um, but it's kind of like ready. we're the only animals kind of around this, so all the flies come here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's literally only on the nose. Yeah, but we'll spray him. I've got some good spray. Ah, uh, uh, leave. The flies goodbye. <laughs> I think he knows something new is gonna happen. <laughs> He's like, what He's are we anxious. trying this time, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Every time there's this camera, something weird happens. Yeah. Well, he really is dirty, man. Wait, let me just examine the damage. You can, like, stroke him. You can feel like the sweat bubbles. <laughs> But the, the bad thing about Chase is that he's got super sensitive skin, so if he sweats for like one minute, he starts to rub everything straight away, like his tail. As you can see, that's a little bit rubbed right there. So we're gonna have to just give him a bit of a... Oh, look, yeah. No, but look at this. Like, if you... you 
It's really disgusting. Yeah, no, we'll give him a good wash. But I think overall his body's looking kind of good. The yeah. weight's not as heavy anymore. Oh. The coat's coming in. He just needs a bit of a wash, but we'll do that. We'll get him fixed before we, uh, before we jump on. Yeah, before we go necro. <laughs> I'm ready. No. <laughs> It's so nice to see him like getting like a black nose again because this was all like orange before with the coat. Yeah. But the summer coat is coming. But it's literally almost autumn. Yeah. <laughs> Chase, hurry it up. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why? Why are you like this, Chase? But all the horses have been struggling. I feel like our horses yeah, also have been struggling. Really? Especially and the Shetland. But this coat, but this weather's been so strange. It's been like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, yeah. cold. So. No because at like one point, I feel like it was in May or something, it was 25 degrees during the day yeah. and then at night it was minus 2! <laughs> like how are the horses meant to cope? <laughs> are we in the desert? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like the world is collapsing slowly, but as long as the video is doing good, we're good. We're yeah, we are, if you will. A little floof. <laughs> oh, we have to... Yes. I'm also excited to just wash him and get him pretty before we start doing the video itself. You guys will see by the time we're done with him, he's gonna be like glowing. It's like washing a car. Yeah. This is honestly the easiest way to wash a horse if you need to wash because it's just easy. <laughs> <laughs> Saves your time. Chase doesn't really mind. He takes it so big that it like rolls his belly out. Yeah, we washed Bear like two days ago and Bear is. <laughs> It's a pretty different. Ah, uh, leave change. Okay, now I'm gonna go in for the final step, which always excites me too much. <laughs> <laughs> and that is using my super shine and also a mitt. So you just spray it on, wet, and then you can use your mitt to just really like soak it in. Come oh on. This will kind of also help the dust stay off, mm. which we need for later when we're also riding. Good boy, Chase. Oh, this oh, it does really make a lot of difference. The mitt is a good idea. We'll be back in five minutes, Chase, and then we'll we'll check up how he's going. This is the water I was telling you guys about, but it really makes a difference. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. So Chase is back. He's clean. He's completely dry. Um, as you guys can see, he still has a little bit of like a, a winter coat that's coming off. You can see it kind of like close to the head here, uh, but that's okay. At least he's nice and clean now. So we've got a nice clean horse to work with. Oh no, no, it doesn't match. Maybe this one. Um, doesn't match. Maybe match. No. The green? Yeah. Okay. Let us pick the no boundaries green. <laughs> the dressage saddle might give you a little bit more support if he does run. Yeah. <laughs> if we are out of control. I'm not saying he will, I don't think so. But if he does, so I enough. will not stop filming because these things go viral. <laughs> so if you fall... Oh, great! <laughs> if you it's fall, fine. just save yourself. I'll film it. We can put it in slow motion. If you fall, as long as you don't get hurt, it's fine. <laughs> no, no, of course. Like, like if you break something, I'll stop filming. But <laughs> that could also be like a money shot. True. Mm -hmm. Just don't stop filming for nothing. No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, Chase, I'm going to need you to move over a little bit. I'm getting a bit squishy. Ah. <sighs> oh. You it's excited? so silky that the saddle is just sliding, it's like back. <laughs> Do we have no, don't, don't we have a product to make the saddle sticky? <laughs> no. Ah. Maybe invent it. Matt Harnicky, stick the saddle on your horse product. <laughs> <laughs> stick a doodle do if you will. <laughs> Part of the Matt Harnicky collection. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, stick a doodle do. <laughs> What do you think we're gonna have to do first with him, like to get him used to the neck rope? Like, have the neck rope on and the bridle? Yeah, and stuff for like sure. That? Yes, because we have to think without rain. So, if we start without the neck rope immediately, if he's used to having like aids through the reins as well, then we have to do it with the bridle and the neck rope first. And then, if you feel like he's responsive to the leg and to your seat, then we can try and just like take it off. Yeah. Oh, Matt, your whole back is wet. Oh my god, I'm sweating. <laughs> But uh, anyways, so first the bridle and the neck rope, and then if it goes well and he responds well, then we can, we can just maybe even only take the reins off for good measure, just to feel like he still has a bridle on. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that feels weird because what if he runs and I can still grab him by the head? Um, true. And if it feels good, I don't think he will though. But like. You can also put him on the lunge, and I practice like. No, you are a dressage rider. You ride with your. 
guaranteed, mister. <laughs> you better show it. Now, this is this is the reveal. Does he or does he not? Are the eights really as invisible as they say they are? Oh, God. I'm terrified. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be okay, good. Okay, well, guys. Okay, I'm <laughs> definitely going to grab my helmet. I wish I had a body protector. Yes. Um, And then we're going to head down and I'll put the bridle on and then... Well, we won't ask anything too hard of him. Like we're not gonna ask for anything except for what we want to focus on today. So yeah. we'll ask for the. Even if it's only a walk, it does. It, what matters is. Like let's just good. today ask for just lis him listening to the stop and yeah. hopefully the turning as well. Yes. Okay. We, yeah. Okay. But the, you I'll like? The I think it's a little bit the same as like I don't. I'm not sure because I don't do it, but I feel like it's a little bit the same as Western riding because you also do oh, it a lot yeah. with the seat and everything. True. Less with the reins, and I feel like that's a little bit of the basis here. No, that's true. That's definitely true. Okay, let me get it. Okay, cowboy Harnicky, get your cowboy hood as well. Put that down. Have you ever tried this? No, right? I've only tried neck rope on like Andorra, mm. and then. Have you not did I it fell. once in like the? I fell. Oh my god, you went down. <laughs> you went down like a rocket. <laughs> because Andorra, which is yes, his old horse. She like just started galloping uh, in the arena, and yes, I tried to like jump in front of her to like stop her, and obviously Annie was galloping, and she went bye, and then I was galloping, and I went all the way down to the other end, and then I was like, okay, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna fall on the wall, so I'm, I let myself fall before that, but it was still, it was funny. I landed well, and it was fine, but still a bit traumatized, but it's fine. So that's a good start. That's the feeling that we get on chase today. This is this is good. Making our way down, down. Okay. Not that I don't. Okay. I'll walk off with him. Oh wait, wait, wait. Maybe, maybe, maybe let's put this on. Should we already put it on? Yeah. Yeah. He needs to feel it. Okay. I feel like it's really important to already incorporate the piece of tech that you want to work and with in the way, end. Which way do you prefer to hold it? Do you hold the leather or do you hold the rope? Because I feel like I want to hold the rope. I mean, it's pref it's different for everyone. It doesn't really matter. I always hold the leather. But uh, I, I feel like the leather for him is going to be more like... Clear. I didn't do that. It's just it doesn't head. matter. You won't hurt him or anything with okay. both sides. Okay, and try already to like steer a lot with your leg. Think Western. What do you think I should... Uh, what do you think I should try first then? Well, I think the most, the two most important things, especially with a horse that's never done it before, is maybe try to steer, obviously, and stop. So what you can try and focus on is making little circles, left and right, and try in between, yes, exactly, and try in between that to uh, control your tempo. So sometimes maybe a little bit slower, maybe a little bit faster. Good. And try to be very confident in your aid. So don't be like, oh my God, this is my first time. I don't know what to do. Just, just pretend that you know everything. Yeah, really good. And don't be afraid that if you, a lot of people think that if you pull a little bit harder that you will suffocate your horse or that you will hurt them, but it's definitely not the case unless you put it behind the jaw. <laughs> and <laughs> let's not. Okay, let me try to stop. Yes. Yeah, we worked really well, really good. Good boy, Chase. I do think the, one of the hardest things is going to be coming to a complete stop for Chase. Okay. Um, because I think you will slow down and stuff. That's going to be mm -hmm. easier, but the complete stop is going to be harder. Yeah. Um, and then also the turning. Is okay. going to be yeah, for sure. Um, Just look at where you're going, for sure. No. Do you ride an echo with one hand or two hands? I do it we usually with one. Yeah. Unless I do like a lot of dressage work, then I do it with two. Huh? It feels weird to go like this. Yeah, it depends on what you're doing. Really good. It's a Jay's. Practice stopping again. Yeah. Just do it a lot with your seeds. Good. Good boy. Really good that you were a little bit more clear in the end. Yeah, because I don't want him to learn to like push through. I mean, don't wait for 10 minutes before he stops. If you want him to stop, then he has to stop. Yeah. And if that means you have to be a little bit more strict, but but honest, then do it. Okay, good. Good boy. Good boy, Chase. Yeah. Try changing direction. Yeah. A bit about leg. Good. Just pretend that you still have the reins to work with. Oh my god, this is good, Matt. Good this was a good one. Okay, that was good. And I'm trying to have like no contact if I'm not using it. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Because it's the same as giving your leg all the time. If you keep pushing your leg, even though you're already going faster, then it doesn't really have a point. Yeah. So if you keep pulling, even though it's already responding, then it also doesn't really benefit. Let's try and turn. Yeah, try and come my way. 
Good boy, Chase! Good boy. And let's try and... Yes, good. really good. good He's responsive. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Should we try some walk trot transitions? Yes. And again, you know him and we, we are together now, so you just do your thing and do what you feel like. Walk and trot might be for a lot of people a little bit too quick, but with you, I know that you've trained him well. Yeah, we still have to ride a lot. Yeah, also. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, he's already willing to go to walk again. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, now take him to... Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, perfect. Let's change direction and try there. Yes. Oh. Oh, my God. He's eager. <laughs> oh, really good. Okay, I've got some control. Okay, that's good. And try to walk. Oh, kijk nou. That's what you need first, a good break and some kind of a steer. Easy. Good. Oh boy, that's the only thing I want to really like check up on him. Is that if he feels it, it's, he doesn't push against and push through. It's a bit of a quick response because if something happens and we need to both have control. And that's good, but so far it's going well. Yeah, go What on. else should I try? Give me something a little bit harder to see how our navigation will We'll make goes. like eight. Make an eight. Make an eight? Yeah. In trot? No, walk first. In walk first. In trot, what do you mean? And don't, and don't hit the sides. Just try to stay off the sides. Okay, trot. Do it in trot. It's gonna be hard. Yeah, but you can make it slightly bigger. Don't want to push it too much. Ah, this is a nice trot. Looking where I'm going, using my weight. Really good. Oh, take it easy. Not too fast. Yeah, better. Yes, focus on your seat a lot and your weight. Ah, oh, that looks really good, Matt. Okay, that's good. And oh wow! So, Heel goed. Uh, good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> of course, you still have a bridle on. What? Could, what? Okay, I feel like the canter is also going to be a little bit more difficult for him. But he is a big horse. Yes. Oh, oh there he's off. Okay, kiss. Easy. Don't quicken the pace. I'm, I'll change direction. Yes. Oh wow! The break is there. Really good, Matt. Take it. Oh my God, yes! You are ready. Yeah. Good. Okay, guys. Good to have it. 
That's good. Oh, bless him. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's so good. It's really good. <laughs> okay, well, do maybe, we take it off? Maybe just the reins first. Okay. So that he still has something in his mouth and maybe thinks that you still have the reins. Taught it, taught him. It's happening. Taught it, taught Every dress has rider's worst nightmare. Taught it, taught it, taught it. Oh! Look at him. Ah, oh, he knows. He knows. Chase, you better behave. Mama can catch him. Okay, should we try everything we did again? Yes. Just like a few. Exactly, years. exactly. Okay. Don't make it too hard. Let's try with just the. The walk, walk surface. Oh my god. <laughs> this is different already for me. Yeah. Definitely. Like not having that safety blanket. No. No, the blanket's off. You're exposed. It looks I'm very bored. weird seeing you like oh I'm bored. He's Let's off. Go I'm bored. So boys and girls, if you get bored, don't follow this advice, just take it easy. Usually when you get bored is where you get tested. Oh my god, so weird. Yes, Matt! <laughs> oh my god, so weird! But so good! Got your chase! I try to aim, but I want to see it in real life. Oh my god, he's off. He's off. Oh my god! Yes! Horse event, get ready! Extended cancer. <laughs> wow. Okay, the bridle is doing no good. Okay, now back to walk. Oh. And walk. Come on! I feel like the bridle is extra. It's time. It's time. The bridle's dead weight. <laughs> we don't need her. No. <laughs> Okay. okay, you ready? I'm ready, let's okay, do let's it. Okay, let's take it off. This is a historic moment. <laughs> and look at me, I'm also going to take the famous bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will be snatched at once. Everything will be snatched. <gasps> Wig snatch! <laughs> oh my god, it happened. Good boy! How does that feel? It's off! Ugh. It's off! Oh my god, I can't believe it! Okay, it's gonna happen, boys. It's gonna happen, girls. Oh, he likes the freedom already. Where do I put this? He's feeling the freedom. Okay, Matt. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so cute, Chase. Okay. Let's start. Let's go again. Oh Matt, my god, it feels so different again. Like, but it's really like so much of it is psychological. Yeah, exactly. And that's cool. why people should make small steps. Because even for you now, you're not doing anything really different, but it's so different. Yeah, really. So really take that in consideration. Just take your time, even when it takes years. Don't push it. Train everything first with the bridle, even if it's bitless or bit. And then when you feel comfortable enough and the aids are well, well, well done, then you can do this. Oh, you're already trotting? Well, I mean, I already did the same thing already. Oh my god, that's the spirit. Oh, what's raar! I mean, that's weird. <laughs> Oh my god, so weird, Matt. <laughs> Can you stop? Oh my god, you're ready. I say cancer pirouette. I say jump. We can't even do that, but we will on that Doesn't matter, yeah, exactly. The liberty is where it gets you. Oh my god, he's off! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's right. He's in Canton. So good, Matt! Look at Josie! Oh, I'm so proud. Look at his ears. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm getting spirit vibes. Spirit stones are similar. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Let's try this way, Jake. It's a flat. I don't know if, if I still want to have two hands or one hand. Oh, you just have to figure that out for yourself, whatever feels comfortable.
I think two feels more the same as when you ride with reins. Yeah. So for your feeling, that might be better. Oh my God, look at you go. Ah, he did it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so good! Oh my god, that's so good, Chase! Oh, bless him! Oh my god, I can't believe that! He just did it! Oh, look at the comeback! Chase, good boy! You're doing it really well with your seat as well. I can't believe you did that. Oh, so good! Oh, Chase! Hey! Oh, <laughs> little sweetheart! Oh, you like You're it, You're so Chase? good, buddy! Yeah, how was that? Oh my god, it's so weird to see you like this. <laughs> I think you also think it's a bit strange. It's like, hey, come step. <laughs> how oh, does it feel so for you? Good. So strange, but also so good. It's also so fun to do something different. And like, I feel him because like when you use a bridle, you can like really help them not lean or do anything. Like yeah. you can assist so much more in a way. Yeah. I'm sure you can also do it uh, this way, but it has to be obviously a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But I can feel him that he's kind of like, I'm the passenger now. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You did so that's well. So cool boy. Nah. Thank you, Chase. I'm really impressed. Yeah, me too. And maybe also the tip of the day for everybody that's watching this: if it goes good and if you're excited and if you're happy, stop. Because yeah. usually when you feel like, oh my god, I'm gonna do one more catch, you fly off. <laughs> or they'll just buck or whatever. No, it's true. Yeah. Just try to suppress that feeling and just stop where you're on your highest point instead of like trying to push your way through it. It's Get really more. True. Yeah. And he's given us an upgrade already for today and he was yeah. really good. So let's not go looking for something to go for. Exactly. Let's take the good and, yes. uh, and, and go through it. Oh, it's true. No, he was so good. I'm so impressed. <laughs> no, he did really good. Really good. I'm really impressed with him. Were you expecting this? No, I mean, in a way, like, I know he's well trained and I know he listens to me and I know he's a very no. sweet horse, but <laughs> but at the same time, Chase has also got a, a very big dominant personality. He likes to change, take charge sometimes. He likes, he can really shut off and mm. likes not to listen also sometimes. Um, but you never really know until you try. But yeah. today, um, he was very, very, very good. And you're very sweet. You just want a little eye rub, huh? <laughs> Look. <laughs> So cute. But I'm gonna walk him a little bit more and then I'll uh, and then I'll bring him up because I need to cool him down a little bit still. Yes. Ah, oh, I did a little passo. Huh? You did a little passo. Okay, kiss. Yeah. No. Okay. So I got the bridle, we took some photos as well, but I'm so impressed because the first time, even though you're like a high level dressage rider or like a jumper, the first time is always, I wouldn't say scary, but like you're missing the reins, you're missing a form of contact that you know you use a lot. And now that he did that, especially with Chase being what he said, dominant and everything, Chase was so good and he really enjoyed the freedom, but he didn't abuse it. Um, and so he took it easy by walking first and he took it easy by using the bridle first, using the reins first. And after a while he felt that he was comfortable enough to take it off. And really when you do this, when you decide to ride your horse with a neck rub or even bitless, um, take someone with you that can look after you, that can check if it's all going well. Um, if it's going well, stop. Uh, you don't want to like ride for 15 minutes just because you want to take the perfect photo or the perfect video. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be worth it. Every time we film that, second thing. Tell him, Matt. Tell him. <laughs> no, but I think you did really, really good. I'm really proud of him also for like um, how far he's come in his training that I can just do this and he's fine and yeah. he listens. Oh my god, you are! You have been listening to me this whole time. <laughs> he didn't really did one step wrong. No. He didn't even try. He didn't even use the freedom. No. He didn't take advantage of it at all. He was just like, okay. I think he was just really happy to do something, and you were also really happy because all you did was laugh. Yeah. Uh, That's what you want with horses. Speed horse, huh? 
No. Well, thank you guys all so much for joining us this week again. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it's something that maybe some of you would like to consider and try in the right circumstance with your horses as well. I know it was a success for Chase. It was also a really big challenge on how much I use my seat, how much I use my legs. So this is something that potentially can help a lot of you guys. If you are alone, uh, an idea can be that somebody is lunging your horse and you have a neck rope. Um, so then somebody's always is still in control of your horse. That could be an idea if you're alone, but either way, please be safe with this. Uh, it is something that can be very, very dangerous and it can go wrong very, very quickly, even for me and my horse um, who know each other very well. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video and we will catch you on next week's video. Okay, bye-bye. Doei, jongens. Dag. Doei. Dag. Hey, dag.